What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a life update um, and kind of showing you guys a little bit of my workout routine and different things like that. Cause you guys have been asking on Instagram a lot when I posted my results um, and what I've been doing. So yes, y'all, um, I am doing wonderful. I know I haven't updated you guys in like maybe three weeks or a month. Um, but I'm doing great. I'm in the best space I've ever been in my life. I know I always, I tend to say that, like, I know I said that last time, like a, how long ago was that? I don't know. But I know I say that a lot, but like, this is genuinely the best time of my life. Um, I, like I talked about in maybe a video, two videos ago, I felt like I was going through like a spiritual awakening and I was, and, um, a lot of different things happened to me during my awakening. I realized like a lot about myself, a lot about my childhood trauma that I needed to address in order to move forward in life. Um, a lot of different negative habits and things I was holding on to due to the trauma um, I work myself out of depression, depressive states. I work myself out of a negative mindset. Um, I was able to open my heart for, open my heart to forgive, um, everybody who has wronged me, everybody who has maybe done something that altered my life in some type of way. I was ultimately the biggest thing was able to, um, connect with my mom hear some um I was able to hear her and her message that she had for me and I was able to forgive her and let go of my past so um it was very it's it's been very emotional in a great way uh oh I got my little air freshener on but it's it was very emotional in a great way um it's been very like eye-opening hit me in the throat it's a very eye-opening it's been a good time i've been like in spiritual solitude by myself almost every day i have friends that come visit me maybe like once a week but other than that i just literally be in these four walls um in my room or out there in the living room with my cousin chatting it up or at the pool like i just been like in a deep spiritual solitude um and it's helped me and um like I talked about those books that I was um, using, um, positive affirmations. I've just been doing a lot of shadow work. If you don't know what shadow work is, um, look it up. Um, I've just been healing myself of past trauma. I want to say I feel like the biggest thing that I was holding on to like my entire life was the passing of my mother. And I was very like sad about it all my life. And I was very um angry about it and i was in a place of unforgiveness and that was holding me hostage like for all of these years and once i was able to experience this awakening and let go and open my heart to forgive it's like something different just clicked in my head um so i'm very very happy right now i'm in a very awesome place in my life y'all see i have like a root daily routine now which is not really me i'm kind of like i was before i was kind of like a lazy person <laughs> i'll just lay in the bed all day but i get up i work i take a shower i do like self-love showers exfoliating shaving whatever body oils all that i just did that actually um then i eat I eat good, I work out, um, I study, I'm in school again, actually. Um, so I'm not getting my master's, I'm getting something else. But yeah, I'm in school again, so it's like, the truck is just moving for me. Um, work email. Yeah, the truck is just moving for me. I have so much greatness going on in my life. Um, if you're not into spirituality, you're not really gonna be into what I'm about to say. So this part is not for you guys who aren't spiritual. 
Um, I've got a lot of tarot readings done. Um, that's how I was able to connect with my mom. Um, and I get a lot of tarots like every day. I get a lot of readings every day just about my life and my purpose here. And that's another thing. I was able to discover like my purpose and what I am here for, what am I what I'm here to do. Um, and I'm just like in full alignment with myself and I'm in a happy place um, just mentally, spiritually, um, emotionally, like I'm in a very healthy, happy mind state. I was just, you know, when you get to this point, you're able to look back on yourself like, dang, I was, I was negative. I was, I was depressed. I was really down. I was really, and it's just like, ugh. I can't even bring myself to get mad at this state I'm in in my life. I can't even bring myself to get sad at this state in my life. I can't even bring myself to be depressed about anything at this state in my life. I don't know. I feel like I'm just radiating. Like I'm, I feel like it's like a yellow, a yellow aura around me, and it's just radiating positivity all throughout my life. And no matter what I see, no matter what I hear, no matter what people try to tell me. It's just like an unstoppable glow, an unstoppable mindset. I'm, I'm truly, really, 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 really happy. Um, and happiness starts from within. Happiness comes from you. Nobody is nobody that can make you happy. It's nobody that can. It's you. And nobody can alter my mindset about happiness. I'm in a place of full forgiveness, full just, I don't know, just happiness. And I understand more than anything now. I'm a really sensitive person. I'm a um, Pisces. I'm a, I'm a water sign. I'm an empath. So a lot of things that people may do may like negatively neg negatively affect me. Um, and I feel like now it's like nothing nobody could do to really upset me. If that makes sense. I realized that nothing anyone does to you is personal. Everybody's on their own journey with themselves. So you may experience a breakup um, or somebody may walk out your life or somebody may say something to you out of anger or somebody might not be in agreement with you. Everybody's on their own path. Everybody has their own mindset. Everybody has their own things that they're fighting. So I learned not to take anything personal that anybody does to me because it was at one point I was at war with myself and I'm no longer at war with myself. I'll never be at war with myself again. I will never experience depression again. I will never experience an extreme low of sadness or suicidal thoughts. I will never experience any of that again. I won't never be in a mindset where I'm confused about my feelings or scared about the schizophrenia or none of that anymore. Like I am whole, I am happy. And I am doing well. So that's me updating y'all. Y'all had I went live yesterday and y'all had like a few questions. So I'm just like, are you dating? Are you talking to anybody? Are you um what was it? Um so yeah, no. I'm not doing that. I just went by myself. Like I'm happy. It is what it is. Whenever it's time for me to experience true love or anything like that, it's gonna come. I can't wait because you know I'm a Pisces, I'm a lover. I can't wait for me, I can't wait for it to be my turn to experience true love that's, you know, going to be the fairy tale, last forever, all that. I can't wait. When it comes, it comes. For, um, right now, it's just me, and I just be by myself every day. I'm focused on me. It is what it is. Whatever's meant to be, it's going to be for me, okay? Whatever's going to come, it's going to come. Whatever's going to go, it's going to go. And you got to learn not to take stuff in life personal. Um, allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to experience it. And just allow yourself to be whole and happy with you. And when you do that and you take your focus off of all the negative stuff that's going on, and you take your focus off of when is love coming? When will I be healed from this? When will I feel better? When will I be out of depression? When you take your focus off of all of that stuff and just begin to do the inner work with you, your life will change. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. So, um, y'all might have more questions. So, what are some things that you do every day to, to have yourself in this mindset? Like I said, I work out. Um, 
I also have an affirmation board over there. I say my affirmations every day. When I'm in the mirror in the morning or whenever I'm in the mirror, um, I repeat different affirmations to myself, looking at myself in the mirror. Um, I do self-love mirror affirmations um, just about my appearance. I love myself. I love my appearance. I love my hair. I love my skin. I love my body. Um, meditating is good. Um, and just whenever you have a negative, somebody just DM me this yesterday. Whenever you have a negative thought about anything, um, you may have a, a negative thought. You may be laying in your bed and scrolling on Twitter and you see a, um, just something that making somebody else happy, but that makes you sad. So if you, if your brain tells you like, oh, I'm sad, you got to check it as soon as you hear your thoughts say that. Because your flesh is working against you. Your ego is working against you. So you got to check stuff when you feel it. And when you might feel sad, that may be time for you to get up and go take a walk, go get some nature, go get some sun, go buy yourself your favorite things to eat, go go get your nails done, I need my nail fixed, um, go pamper yourself, um, go watch your favorite movie, watch something from your childhood that brings back good memories. Whenever you feel something, check it and acknowledge it at that moment. If you feel like, I feel depressed today, get up, go work out, listen to your favorite songs, listen to your favorite movie. Go walk, get moving. Don't just sit in that depressive state because when you sit with an idle mind, it's like the worst thing. So that's kind of like why I went through what I went through during quarantine. It's like I'm sitting there with an idle mind and my ego and my flesh and my thoughts, negative thoughts, it's just eating away at me. So get up and get moving. If you guys have any more questions, Feel free to DM me on Instagram. I always reply when the message is really somebody asking something. I tend to reply. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys pictures of my results from working out. Um, and yeah, I was gonna do like a daily routine. I may turn that into another video because I've been talking for 12 minutes. So I think I'm gonna turn that into another video. So um, yeah, I want y'all to stay up, stay healthy. If you need help. If you're experiencing depression or you need my guidance or anything, feel free to DM me. I am here for a purpose. I am here to be a steward of love and light. And if you need me, reach out to me.